Hey, I'm going to be honest. The software I'm going to show you guys today, if this was out before I purchased my GoXLR, I'd have thought twice about purchasing my GoXLR. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video today on the channel. So today we're going to be talking about a sick piece of software that pretty much emulates a GoXLR. If you're unsure about the GoXLR, wondering what it is, what the hell it does, or listen up. So the GoXLR is basically a mixing desk. You know, kind of like the ones that you see in the music studios that allows you to control the song each individual part. You know, the hi-hats, the drums, the kick, all that kind of stuff. Basically one of those that sits on top of your desk. So the software that I'm going to show you guys today pretty much gives you that same ability you get with the GoXLR. You don't even need to buy one. Like genuinely, the statement that I said at the start of this video still remains true. That if I didn't commit getting a GoXLR over a year ago, I wouldn't have even got one. I'd have used this software and just bought a small desktop preamp for my microphone and then boom, that would have been the setup. Not that I regret the GoXLR purchase, but it is kind of pricey for anyone that's looked. Now, just before we jump straight into the software, I show you guys how it works and how you get set up. I do want to let you guys know that I do stream on Twitch every Wednesday, Friday and Sunday. The link is going to be below in the description if you do want to check it out. Also, with the link to my Twitch is going to be all my other social medias. If you want to connect with me on a platform like Twitter, Instagram, feel free to drop me a follow. All of them are going to be linked below also. But anyway, back to the topic at hand. So first of all, you're going to need to download a small piece of software. Now, this is just required for it all to work together, tie itself into OBS. You won't even notice a difference on your computer your desktop or your obs to be honest with you so the download link is going to be in the description head over to the website download the latest executable that you can find get it installed like any other program that you would do now go ahead and open obs as you normally would now you're probably wondering or confused am i looking for a button a menu something new something shiny that i'm looking for on the menus nah -uh. nothing on the surface will have changed until you dive into one new menu that you wouldn't have seen yet. Now, if you go into your sources category and hit the plus sign, you'll see a new audio source called Audio Application Output Capture. <laughs> and this is it. <laughs> that is your key to having a free GoXLR. Software based, of course, obviously. But with this new source, you are now able to capture audio specifically from one application and one application only. So let's go ahead and add it. And for example, let's make it our Discord chat. So now that we have it in the audio mixer, this is its own audio source entirely. You can play music in the background, play games. That source will not move until it captures audio from Discord. Just a quick heads up also, guys. You want to make sure you go into your file and settings. And inside the audio tab, you want to make sure you disable your desktop audio. So you're going to make individual audio sources for each individual application that you want to capture. So to make this as simple as possible and smooth, instead of creating audio sources for every single scene that you have, like your starting soon, your be right back, your game screen, your just chatting screen, all that kind of stuff, we're going to make a whole new scene entirely. Now, for example, we just call this scene audio. And then inside of audio, we're going to add all of our sources that you want. So if you want Spotify, if you want Warzone, if you want F1, if you want your Discord chat, if you want your browser for when you play your YouTube music or anything like that, you add them all here. Now, because they are their own, each individual sources, you can add filters, customize it in any way that you see possible. Now that we have the main audio scene created, all we have to do is go to our Just Chatting screen, our Be Right Back screen, our game screen, hit the plus in bottom right corner, add a scene, and then we just add our audio scene to that scene. So now you have nested scenes. And that's pretty much it. I mean, I hopefully haven't made it too complicated. Hopefully you stuck with me and followed through. It's a really, really nice and convenient way to get GoXLR without essentially buying and paying for a GoXLR. Now, look, I'm not trying to drive away sales from the GoXLR or I'm not trying to badmouth it in any way possible. I love my GoXLR. It's got a studio grade preamp, the fun voice effects, the sample pad, all of that on my GoXLR. Honestly, I wouldn't change it for the world. The only one thing that I wish I could change was the price of the damn thing. It's a very, very steep price to pay. But honestly, if you're looking to make your setup really nice, professional and studio looking, then I definitely would recommend the GoXLR. But any of my newbie and budding streamers, Honestly, I'd recommend this piece of software. Probably does everything that you probably would do on the GoXLR anyway. I don't really make much use of the sample pad or the voice effects like that, probably once a week or something like that at most. But the levels and all that kind of stuff, I make use of every single stream. So honestly, I really would recommend this piece of software. Now you can control each audio source individually and you can just have so much more flexibility in all of your audio. But yeah, that pretty much wraps it up, guys. Um, I hope you managed to stick with me through the whole of the guide. If you have struggled following, please do let me know in the comments below i will try my best to try and help you individually if not feel free to come over to my twitch stream let me know on my twitch chat i'll try sort it to you live there and then 
But if not, do enjoy your newfound piece of software and the key to now controlling all of your audio. If you did enjoy the video, I'd appreciate if you drop a thumbs up on the video, really does mean a lot. If you're new here and you haven't looked at the rest of my videos, I've got a few other tech tips and guides released. Feel free to check out my channel. And if you do like it here, I'd appreciate if you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you get notifications when I upload a video. I plan on doing plenty more videos like this of cool little OBS tricks I found, anything for your GoXLR. I already released one on the Stream Deck, but I'm looking for more plugins. So if you're looking for tech tips, that kind of stuff, definitely do come back to the channel regularly. But that's it for the video, guys. I hope you do enjoy this newfound piece of software. Hopefully you get using it, makes your life a lot more easier, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.